Hey, let's bring in Angela Rye. Angela Rye. And Angela Rye for Impact Strategies. Angela, you work the hell, you know it better than most people in this town. You have Mary Landrieu, unless she's going to say, you know, I'm going to caucus with the Republicans next year. The Republicans even will get credit for what happens in the lame duck. Okay, when John Boehner said that they were going to consider it, Eric Cantor wrote a memo the very next week saying we're not going to consider it. So he lost an election really off of political ads, not even the lack of action. So now they still aren't going to do immigration reform. They're going to do border enforcement, which is vastly different and is not mm -hmm. going to get... Latino folks and others who are interested in really comprehensive immigration reform on their side. Yeah, trying to hide no, away I think from that it. she All did acknowledge her different. wealth. She also Rocky acknowledged the lack of that wealth of when they were leaving the White House. The point is, the policies that Romney has traditionally supported and the rest of the folks in the GOP fly in the face of what benefits most of America. That is why it's not called the Big Tent Party. That is why the Democrats are called the Big Tent and Party. Just Paul Ryan really needs to be accountable to his remarks. And what better entity... Um, um, to hold him accountable than uh, 43 African-American members of Congress known as the conscience of the Congress. Of Congress forget that they're not just politicians, they're also elected officials. Right. They're to serve their constituents regardless of party and whether or not they agree with the law. Not only have they gone about trying to repeal this bill over 30 plus times, they also refuse to acknowledge that the Supreme Court has also spoken. On most fronts, people of color continue to lag behind the majority. So I often wonder, when listening to all the rhetoric about affirmative action, how can you have bootstraps to pull yourself up and you have no boots? How can you have equal access to education with little to no financial resources? How can you be judged by the content of your character? Or in this instance, the content of your report card, when all they see is the color of your skin and the associated stereotypes. The president was trying to get something done with a house that did not want to cooperate. And even with the Senate, even though we, or Democrats, had control of the Senate, you had uh, a conflicting and always fighting Republican Party. So now that they have control of the Senate, it doesn't mean that all of a sudden it's a kumbaya session. Uh, You're going to punish people. poor people. Yes. You're going to punish kids. You're going to punish... But shouldn't we have been standing up for poor people and kids during I, the election? Let's, let's not say we, because we did not do that. There were some other folks that, again, were wearing the blue shirts that did that, <laughs> right? I mean, I would not have advised that. They did not call me and ask me if that was a good strategy. <laughs> It was a terrible strategy. I don't stand by it. I won't defend it. It was awful. And the other thing that's big for so many of us, as you know, is the Voting Rights Amendment Act. Absolutely. How do you go into an election where people's rights have been compromised day after day in states that were required to submit to preclearance before, and now those same laws are not intact? Well, if only this budget impacted just conservatives, then perhaps they could keep it in the family. The problem with that argument is it's the larger American family mm. that's been impacted. So, yes, I do think um, Speaker Boehner, from all that I've heard from members who served with him b before this particular term, he is a deal maker. Mm -hmm. This is a very frustrating proposition and a zero sum game. We must implement this comprehensive agenda on the federal, state, and local levels. This is not a black thing. In fact, my ability to fulfill my dream and the ability of future generations of Americans to fulfill theirs is in your best interest. 